So some people prefer dry stored Pure tea. Some people prefer wet stored tea. But personally, it's I think it depends. My name is Jeff Cornelius. I'm a student at Eastville College, and I am a tea connoisseur, which means I like to age and drink tea. And the reason why I pack these is because when you age poor tea, you want as much much of it as possible together. I just started off with a, a few teas that I would get from the grocery store, and then I started. Uh, ordering tea online, specialty artisan teas from uh, online vendors. Um, when I got into Chinese pu'er tea, uh, that was the, the big deal because there's so many teas out there, but there's uh, not many teas like pu'er where you could age it and uh, continuously drink the tea as you age it and kind of watch it develop into something else than from when it started. First, you want to start off with spring water. Um, you don't want tap water for sure. Uh, filtered water is next, but it's, it definitely doesn't do the tea justice. And then you had the teaware, so you could use porcelain cups or you could use teapots to brew in. And you heat up the teaware, the teapot, the teacup, and then you brew the tea in and you could, depending on the tea, you could brew it 10 to 20 times. The interesting thing about tea, it has some, the caffeine definitely like energizes you, but it also has something in it that mellows you out at the same time that coffee doesn't have. These are called uh, biscuits. You get to experience the essence of uh, a tea tree from a mountainside in di distant China and you could experience it and you know on your living room table.